welcome to the Toronto International Bike Show BMX Jam. All I can say is prepare to be amazed as the best in extreme BMX athletes from all over the world gather to defy gravity in ways in which you did not believe possible, including the newly crowned world champion from Nova Scotia, Drew Bazanson. For the love of all that is holy, do not try this at home. And here is the organizer of the Toronto BMX Jam, Mike Heaton. Hello, Mike, how are you? Rick, thank you so much for coming here this morning. I'm happy to be here, man. I don't know what you're doing here. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> What'd you think? Oh, I could do that. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah, cool, works. He's not wearing any padding, I noticed. No, because he's doing some fairly basic maneuvers right now. <laughs> I mean, I can ride a bike. Stand up on stand, the pedals. Stand up. There you go. I'm afraid they're going to hit me. They won't. I'll stand here Don't and Don't hit sure me. They... What were they yelling at me? Cool back. Get off the track, old man. <laughs> that's Drew. That's Drew from Nova Scotia. Drew from Nova Scotia. <laughs> Hi, Drew, how are you? Oh, not too bad, and yourself? So, Drew, you are, like, the world champion. At the moment, I guess. <laughs> At the moment, you guess. How did you get involved in the sport? Uh, when I was real young, like, I, I really wanted to race motocross, so I'd always just ride my bicycle and pretend it was a dirt bike. Right. And then I actually raced motocross. And then when I was in the sixth grade, a friend moved, and he rode BMX and just invited me to the local skate park, and from that day on, I've just been hooked. And now you travel all over the world. Yeah, I'm fortunate enough to be able to travel and do what I love. Show me something that, you know, will freak out the old people. Ah, uh, freak out the old people? Like me. <laughs> <laughs> just show me the basic little... The basic quarter pipe carve? The basic quarter pipe carve. Now that I've mastered kindergarten level biking, why don't you show me a ramp trick? I'll show you a few. You didn't tell me that! Not bad. Now, everywhere you look around here, you see graffiti on the ramps, and I was pleasantly surprised to see my head on a ramp. And uh, this is the guy who's responsible, and he's a police officer. Hello, Constable, how are you? Pleased to meet you, Rick. Thanks for coming. Now, what's your name? I'm Scott Mills. Now, why are the police involved in graffiti? Uh, real simple, graffiti community building. We, uh, we take kids that are maybe out vandalizing a mailbox or a garage door, and uh, we go out and we do beautiful stuff on these ramps and also on walls out in the city that you love walking through. So yes. uh, we're really impressed by yes. the fact you walk down those laneways. Okay, now these two ladies, you're responsible for my head on the ramp? Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Karen. Karen and Yvette. you're very talented. How many artists worked on that? Like all of them right there. Oh, all of them right here. Hello! <laughs> Are you terrified that a bike is going to crash into you at any moment? Yes. No. No? I want, I want I to am. jump out of my head. I want to be like this. Whoa! <laughs> OK, get out of there. How you doing? What's your name? I'm Keith Schmidt. And where are you from? Uh, Lock Haven, Pennsylvania. OK, so how's the competition? Uh, everyone's getting sick so far, like... Everyone's getting what? Real sick, like... Sick, that's yeah. good, right? That's good. Yeah, yeah, okay. Sure. Now, where are you from? Denver, Colorado. Now, is this your first time competing here in Toronto? Yes, sir. How is it? It's awesome. It's a great time. Toronto's a great city. Is this the type of sport that you would encourage young people to get involved in? Um, yeah. I, I know for a fact when I got started, it was something that kept me out of trouble. Um, I stayed away from the kind of people that I grew up with where a lot of, like, kids got into, like, gang banging and drugs and stuff like that. Going to the skate park and riding my bike just kept me completely away from it. What's your name? Tyler. Are you a BMXer? No. No? Do you want to be? Yeah. So just quickly tell me, what are you feeling before you go out and compete like this? 
Uh, I'm a little nervous, but as soon as I drop in, all the jitters go away, and you're just back to having fun. Okay, all righty. Are you guys ready for this? The crowd Thank loves you. you. How did that go? It went really well. It was a little bit jittery at first, landed low on a little stuff, cased some stuff, but it, hopefully tomorrow in finals I can make up for it. All righty, exactly what he said. Thank you for having me. Yeah, no problem, anytime. Great sports.